Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome to The Tenets, a new little fun game that just recently came out and what it is all about is going around and getting your own little tenants to rent out places, remodeling other people's apartments or houses or homes or even at one point I even built strip club, but we're not going to talk about that right now. What we're going to do is we're going to hop in and I'm just going to kind of explore around and show you guys um, what it looks like after you've played the game for about 20, 30 hours. I've been trying to put in a ton of work. That way, whenever I bring you guys into this game, you guys can see stuff that's a little bit later in the game instead of having to see things that are in the first area. Now, what I will say is if we want to go check out the first area, we could go over there. It's the slums. But first, let's check out over here what this game is all about is going through and collecting jobs right and each job has a different thing that you need to do for instance this one that's right here behind my wonderful head is a babysitting job as they call it you all you do is take care of people's tenants so in other words you become a landlord for a certain amount of time that's agreed upon um, then you have things like this one right here we are looking for an eco-friendly renovation expert to design a cafe full of green life requirements total makeover budget fourteen thousand seven hundred and fifty uh, finished guidelines preferred furniture required furniture and they don't mind what the floors look like um so what i'm gonna do is that one's not very good paying um and then but i'm gonna do it i'm gonna go ahead and do that one before we talk about the last job okay so once we're over here and we have a job assigned to us the first thing we have to do is find out where it is so this looks like the area that we're going to be designing right here this is our cafe so we click on it and we start our reservation now, we have all of these items that are off to my um, my right over here that we have to fill out. So, looking here, they want red walls and some linoleum foil. So, as you click on everything, it will actually bring up, um, well, more or less what you need to do. And you could just shift click and fill it all in. So, I'm just going to go ahead and put in a couple floors. That looks really lame, actually, here. That looks better. Okay, now what I will say before we start critiquing some design skills, I am not an interior designer at all. I'm not very good at it, but I still have a good time with it. So uh, let's go ahead and put in a couple small tables. Looks like they need two small tables. Uh, I'm gonna go with these red ones because they look like that they match pretty well. And then we need to put in some chairs. Now, um, let's go with something that looks a little bit more comfy, maybe this oak chair. I'm just going to put in four chairs around each table here. There we go. That looks good. All right. Now they want a couch. Um, let's go with the red couch. We're going to kind of stick with this red theme here. Um, we're going to make it almost Santa Claus-esque because what's going to end up happening is we are going to put down uh, all these plants and it's going to make it like a really green and red area. So let's grab some small plants here and let's put some small plants on the tables. Um, I'm a big fan of bonsai trees. So let's just uh, bonsai tree it up here. Get a couple of those down. All right, we'll put one down right over there. Uh, we're going to grab these wall plants. Now, I have unlocked a lot of things in this game already. Uh, not all these things come completely unlocked in the game when you first load it up. So just be aware that if you do end up picking up this game, which I do believe you all should because I have been having an absolute blast playing this game over the last few days trying to grind out and get ready for a video for you guys. Um, I think that everybody should get this game out and give it a try, personally. That's that's just how I feel about it. But uh, don't take my word for it. Take the internet. I'm just kidding. Um, but going through, I'm just going to go ahead and add just a couple more things just so I can put some small plants in here. These are going to be standing tables. A couple more bonsai trees. Uh, that one is definitely not in the middle, so I'm just going to go ahead and move that over. God, that looks good. Okay, let's put another couch over here. Uh, yeah, let's grab another one of these red ones. Except let's do it like a kind of a kitty wampus corner couch. That looks great. And then uh, we need some big plants. So big plants are going to be like these big potted plants here. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and put down... Is this considered a big plant? Yeah. This looks pretty good. So I'm going to put down one of those there. One of those there. Rotate it around. Put one right there. And then maybe grab these uh, palms because I do live in Houston, Texas where there's plenty of palm trees. So let's put in a couple 
a couple palms in the corners. So now that this is all greened out, that means that we have all of the requirements in order to finish the job, but we still have $6,050 and one of their preferred furniture requirements is a TV. So we're gonna go ahead and grab a big old TV right now. There we go, we'll grab the biggest one we can. Plop it up on the wall right there. We can afford another one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take another one and maybe put it right there because then they can go and uh, select what they want. Maybe they can put the menus up there, have some waitresses walking around. And then I'm gonna put down some rugs just because uh, the area looks like it could really use just some rugs going throughout here. So I'm gonna put one there, um, one maybe there. And then one, I guess, around. I don't know. But what I will say is that, like I said, once it's done, it's done. And then you go over here and you press deliver job. The decor is kind of crap in the room. And then the client is going to go walk around, check out what you've done, and then give you a score out of five stars. Now, what I'll show you guys, if we look down, I have been getting four and five stars on everything that I've been doing uh, in this new area. The whole time, uh, except for that one, ignore that one. But uh, yeah, four and five stars all the way through. So very happy about that. Now, the last thing I wanna talk to you guys about, the last job is this one that looks like a hand with a door that looks like it's gonna smack the crap out of somebody. Uh, that is going to be an open house job. And what that one is, I'm gonna just go ahead and accept it and start it while I'm talking to you guys about it. What it is, is we are literally looking for a tenant for somebody. So somebody has asked us to find them somebody to rent out their living space. Now, I wanna add that that, uh, I built this room here. This room was uh, one that was built by me. This one came. Ooh, I got some arcade items. It's nice. Um, this one was built by me because it was requested by it. But what you have to do is you got to find their preferences. So they're preferring somebody that's between 20 and 51 years old. Um, and they want you to find somebody that probably has good tendencies. So we gotta find somebody who really likes the place because if they really like the place, they'll pay more for rent and you want them to pay more for rent. You don't want them to pay less. You want them to pay the most that they can because then you get a bonus payout on top of your original payout. So let's see, what are you, you're still thinking? How are you thinking? You're unsatisfied. What about you? Appalling. Oh, they don't like the... Oh, but she does. And she's 26 years old, so she fits right in there. We're gonna check the tenancy history and we're gonna run a background check on her. And then we're going to wait for both of those to come in here. Okay, looks like she has no Tennessee history, which isn't the end of the world, and she has no criminal record, which means she's probably a pretty good um, tenant. So we're going to go ahead and grab her Negotiate. We're going to negotiate for 120 days. Once again, this is unlocked by playing a lot more of the game. And I'm just going to crank this almost all the way up. You don't want to go all the way up because if you go all the way up, they won't be able, they'll just undercut you like crazy and then it'll take longer to meet in the middle. So it is a back and forth conversation here. So let's see, make an offer at a very high price point. They're going to come back right here with 3,400. I'm going to cut down. Uh, almost a thousand dollars a little over a thousand dollars I'm gonna make an offer there and hopefully they'll come up a little bit more and then I'm gonna come down maybe four thousand six hundred make another offer and now they're at three thousand eight hundred let's see if we could get them to four thousand so I'm gonna go four thousand three hundred make another offer yeah, 3,900, that's close enough. We're gonna accept that offer. That's a pretty good profit for the uh, person that's renting out the house. Their profit was uh, uh, a little over, I think it was $3,800 for their profit. So that's not too bad. So they'll be happy with that. But yeah, so it's tons of fun to go through. And then what happens when you have enough money is then you can go through and you can actually purchase um, your own places inside of the city and make your own apartment buildings and stuff. Like for instance, this one's uh, 1,600 or 169,000, nice, uh, right there. So it's one bedroom, it's not too bad. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait for this payment for this job to come in and that should be enough for me to be able to buy um, this little tiny house that's right here. Yeah, see, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna purchase that now. And I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to look at it. And it looks actually like 
it's pretty much done and ready to be rented out. Uh, I only have $812, so I can't really do a whole lot more to it. Um, but it looks like it's ready to do. So I'm going to go ahead and open an open house. Uh, we're going to open it up in the newspaper. I don't want to do the radio one because that would use all of my money. So we're going to open up that. And then we're going to try to find ourselves now the best tenant that we can to rent out this little space from us. Now, I'm hoping to rent this out for like five grand a month. I don't know if we'll be able to but we're gonna try all right so let's see here we need some people you're 48 years old eighty five thousand dollars a year apartment score fine you think it's exceptional 48 years old I'm gonna do a Tennessee check on this lady here uh, ooh this one's not too bad either let's see open up app good she's got a good Tennessee history but this lady has a lot more money so let's check her tenancy as well uh, just to kind of see where she's at. I know that her occupation is a mobster. It's fine. Okay, let's let's negotiate with this lady. Just because it's fine. I'm just going to crank the money. Ooh, it's not as high as I'd like it to be. But let's make an offer at 2,900. Then I'm going to come down and make an offer at 2,400. I'm going to try to get her to a $2,000 price point. 1,800. Go a little bit less. 1920 let's just accept that offer at 1920 perfect and now what that means is we're gonna have somebody that we need to take care of they'll ask us to do repairs from time to time and they'll ask us to do other things around this apartment to keep them happy Ooh, what do we got in messages hello perfect that's the person saying hi we've done it we're here all right i have about five grand which is great because i think that people ooh uh paid some money to us uh from our other place so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna load up into my slums neighborhood here uh you cannot switch until you have an agent assigned oh i need to get an agent okay that's important let's hire an agent so phone agents and suburbs hire all right, let's find somebody who's really good. I try to find somebody who's got... Yeah, look at this. Salesmanship is really high. I don't like you. Your diligence isn't very high. Your empathy's kind of there. But I like how high their salesmanship is because the higher that the salesmanship is, um, the higher that they'll actually be able to get them for rent. So I may only be able to get somebody like $800 to $900 for rent. Well, they'll end up getting them like $1,000 for rent, which is crazy. You're pretty good. Ooh, you're not too bad at all. I kind of like this lady here, though. She looks a little angry. Um, Let's go. Um, I'm just going to go with. I don't I don't like the diligence on that one. I'm just going to go with this lady here. You're hired. Woo. Lana Wills, you are hired to take care of this area. So now that we've done that, let us go over here and let's go back to the slum so I can show you guys what it looks like when you've spent a few hours, actually better part of 20 hours, playing this game, grinding out, completing jobs, buying places, renting them out, and having a bunch of tenants working really well for you. So coming over here, whenever it loads, there we are. The slums, you'll notice, is slums. It is very beaten up. It's very broken down, but it's still a really cool place to stay. Now, I have four houses here. Um, um, and one of them is actually a trailer. This one right here. This is actually one of my houses. Um, I built this. Well, well, I bought it and then put the stuff inside of it. It's nothing fancy, but this lady, for some reason, is spending $1,400 a month on this. Um, all because of my tenant lady. She was able to get that figured out for us. Um, so she's awesome. And I really do like the lady that I have running this area for me because, like I said, she's able to get crazy money out of people. I don't have any vacancies. My cash flow is very high. In fact, I can show you guys I'm actually making $19,000 um, in uh, gross income, but $15,000 in net income uh, every month just because of this area that's here so really happy about the slums area that we've built up you can see i still have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven it's like 12 13 14 15 houses that i still have left to pick up here um and then once i pick them up i mean i can even get like this big house but this one's like four hundred thousand. And uh, I will tell you, whenever I go in here and start working in here, this is like a mobster hideout that has like 
drug cutting and a brewery and a casino and it's crazy whenever you get a, a contract i wonder if i actually have one no i don't have a contract where i can go and and do that right now but uh whenever you do get to go in there it's kind of fun to go through and and uh build out like a mobster hideout it's it's pretty fun but guys that is pretty much it i want to do another playthrough of this game but i think i'm going to do it as a live stream just because going through and doing the jobs repeatedly for say something that's like a uh game like this where uh I just go through and do like almost the same job repeatedly. It doesn't make for very fun videos, but it does make for a good live stream where I could just sit and talk with you guys. Here we go. Yeah, you guys can see the brewery here. Um, and then uh, the casino in here. Now you guys can actually get a look. But yeah, $365,000. So I just, I don't have that much money at only 7000 So lots of, lots of grinding that still needs to get done in the game. Excuse me. And uh, lots of other things that we still need to do. So I hope you guys will look forward to a live stream on this one. It is going to be tons of fun. And I appreciate all you guys for clicking and tapping on this video. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Subscribe today for more awesome videos. And as always, I'll see all of you guys in the next one.